Ladies and gentlemen, we are the Art School Rejects, and on today's show, we're going to talk about <laughs> Stranger Things. We're going to talk about Stranger Things. It's a show on Netflix, and we're going to talk about the uh, San Diego Comic-Con movie trailers that just recently came out, and of course, we're going to dive into the world of Pokemon Go. Yeah. On the show, we have special guests. Jamie, Pokemon Master. He got you. Oh, hey. I like that. I like that. And uh, we have Luis. <clears throat> I'm level 18 and a half. I'm almost 19, so damn, fuck you. Oh, I'm level. I'm level 22. Luis needs no introduction. He's a he's a regular. Hey. He's he's a old school regular, but I believe everyone I deserves been back an in a while. introduction. So hi, so. I'm Luis. And then also we have Carlos. What's up? And we have Shane, who is myself. That was my, uh, my, my, um, what was it? Geo bro. Geo dude. That was yeah, my I'm not Geo bro. Who Carlos Geo dude. Bro? That was my Geo dude. Uh, I think voice. Carlos is a Geo bro. Is he Geo bro or Geo dude? Geo dude. You're a Geo bro, Geo but it's Geo dude. Because <laughs> it's a Geo dude, like rock. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was, that's so what I was trying to, rock type to channel. Um, but yeah, before we get into Pokemon, let's go ahead and talk about some of the trailers that dropped recently during the San Diego Comic Con convention, cosplay convention. What was your favorite? Doctor Strange. I think that took the cake. I mean, is it? Was are they paying uh, Nolan royalties? Oh, because they just kind of so. ripped his movie. <laughs> yeah, they. Did. I hope so too. I mean, that was like Inception, pretty much. It, but it, it's Inception like times a hundred, though. No, it's really like Inception meets Harry Potter meets The Matrix. Like, I don't think Inception can dream up that shit. Wow. Ooh, damn. damn. Shots fired at Nolan. Well, I mean, I love the movie. <laughs> Puts the band-aid on the wound that he just stabbed you. Jamie, are you familiar with this Doctor Strange person? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> he, is, he, is a, he is a doctor, like a medical doctor. A strange doctor. <laughs> I think his his last name is Strange. So yeah. he's not he's not strange like that person that you see on the subway. Does he that... get into Strange? <laughs> he gets into Strange. That's how he got that nickname. <laughs> no, his name is Stephen Strange. He is a medical doctor. Is he, but he, um, he, Nazi? he gets in. What? Is he a Nazi? <laughs> no, he's not affiliated with the Nazi organization <clears throat> at okay. all, or Hydra, or any of these pseudo Nazis, or or he's not a Trump voter. I mean, because his initials are SS. Ooh. Oh, ISIS. That is true. A lot ISIS. of people's initials are SS. Like, like Super Saiyans? Yeah. That's not, that's, no. that's not initials. Mm, he is a medical doctor, and then he, he loses the ability to be a medical surgeon. Malpractice. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> he was sued. <laughs> he didn't get sued, uh, okay. but he got into like an accident. And then he met Tilda Swinton. And she taught him how to be like a sorcerer. Yeah, she's a uh, ancient. Uh, um, where's she from? I don't from know. We don't know. We're not thing. sure. No, I mean, we're not sure where he's where she's. Or, yeah, we're not. We're not sure where she's from. He meets her in the in India, like the Himalayan mountains. But we don't know like where she's from. Like what? Where? What, we go. She might be from like Milwaukee or something. <laughs> Springfield. Springfield, Milwaukee. Yeah, that, I mean, the, that stuff, I mean, are you guys familiar with the uh, artist M.C. Escher? Yeah. No. Yeah. That's kind of what it reminded me of, like, some of those, like, really, I mean, when I was little and I'd see, like, M.C. Escher stuff, I would be like, whoa, that's really trippy. Because there was just, like, like staircases that were kind of bending into each other and kind of going in every direction. And some parts would, some parts of the room would be upside down and some would be on the, on the side of the wall. But very kaleidoscopy. Yeah, way. that's the feeling I definitely got. About like but if you're buildings. looking through um a kaleidoscope, mm. 
yeah there's those scenes where like kind of the the the, the background like starts to break apart into like a kind of a kaleidoscope I, pattern i wonder if people are experiencing that as well or is this some sort of shadow realm like is everybody in, in, on that city which i assume is new york yeah, exper- is. experiencing all this mind bending shit or are they just going on about their day and they yeah. can't perceive it because he his his um sanc- sanctorum what is it is a sectum <laughs> sancto sanctorum sancto sanctorum uh his like lair or whatever like his his office his like his sorcerer's office is in uh gr- is it greenwich greenwich connecticut village no Gren- greenwich new york new york village. city yeah, I think it's Greenwich Village. Or is it Greenwich? Greenwich. Yeah. Isn't that or near is Brooklyn it, or something? Is it Greenwich? Because it's spelled Green Witch, I think. Yeah, but I think it's like one of those things that it, how you might want to spell it the correct way, it's not pronounced that way. Okay. Somebody from New York has to like... Hey, who's from New York? Uh, yeah, send us an email. <laughs> Artschoolrejectspod at gmail.com. Yep. That's where he lives. So it's, it is New York City, but I think that... If you're a magician, you're experiencing that stuff. But if you're just a normal citizen, I think it's like business as usual. You're going to get your bagel. <laughs> yeah. Your pizza, your slice of pizza, your bagel, like all the New York stuff. Yeah. <laughs> There's not a lot at stake. Not a lot at stake? Yeah, because nobody's experiencing it, so it doesn't really matter. Well, Sabia, I've heard that like the eye of, what's his, his, uh, his necklace called? The eye of, uh, I'm a, I'm a, a the eye of Agamotto. Uh, Apparently, like uh, there are people out there that believe that that could possibly be an infinity stone. Ooh, that'd be cool. So the stakes are the highest stakes, I would say. No, I mean, like, it's not like fucking every DC movie where they're just destroying fucking planets. Mm, speaking Le- of leveling cities and <laughs> shit, and it's like nothing happened. Uh, speaking of those DC movies, Justice League also came out with a new trailer. It's going to be fun. Fun, 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 fun. All the fun. Fun, 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 fun. I love that kid. That video is awesome. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I just told you about it. Don't worry about it. We'll show you later. Well, anyways, it's I'm skeptical just because, yeah, I mean, track record isn't good. Still Sack Snyder, right? Yeah, track record isn't good, and and it just looks like they try to inject all this like funny bits i mean so the flash it's, like, it's cool. like it just feels insincere like they're trying to cover it up yeah mm-hmm. they're no. trying to cover their tracks it's like the it seems like kind of like a little bit oceans kind of oceans 13 or <laughs> well what are, uh, 14 now <laughs> okay <laughs> what are we up to <laughs> uh yeah we're like it's like like ben affleck is like yeah matt damon or, or no george it? it was george clooney yeah and then uh wonder woman i guess would be the uh the brad pitt character and they're just trying to get like the crew together to like pull off this but this, you, what this i love thing. is that he's using the batman voice as bruce wayne like when he's talking to people he's like oh we're forming a team <laughs> and it's like whoa hey <laughs> you know you, you're giving that away bro yeah it's like you obviously you're batman i mean because it would be weird if he was just coming up to these people as not like a, a you know it was just some random guy well, trying, I mean, to, trying to like recruit these like meta humans. Well, he, they're not gonna they're not gonna follow him if if they don't you know if he doesn't tell them that he's actually. Well, the the only one that he at least in the trailer they show him telling telling him who he is is um, the Flash. He doesn't really tell him. He just fucking throws a battering at him. Mm, yeah, because yeah. you know? he wanted to see how fast he can move. Yeah, I mean, he like I don't like that he like everything. He sets off like a, a electromagnetic charges every time he uses his powers. Yeah, that's a little, a little <laughs> weird. It's a little weird. Like, really? Like, every time he does anything fast, like, he, you know, like, lightning bolts have to have to fly off of his body. Yes. I mean, it's it's always been that way with the, the suit. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I don't know about Justice League. It was, it was a little yet. extreme. I don't know about it just yet. I was, I was more excited about Wonder Woman. Yeah, Wonder Woman. Woman. Um, that looks. I mean, it looks good. It looks good. It but looks again, good. But again, I like. I like Gal. You know, I like that Gal. You like that Gal. I like that Gal. That, that Gal. Galley, adult. That, um, she was. She looks cool in the suit, and she looks. And Chris Pine is also a good-looking person. Yes. 
You just <laughs> had to put that had to put that out there. Yeah. I mean, well, we just saw Star Trek, so we we have a our fill of Chris Pine. I'm trying to remember who that is. Who Chris Pine is? Um, yeah. He's like the loser of the Chris Wars. It's Captain Kirk. He's like, he's yeah, like, I was like, he's not Chris Pratt. It's not Chris Pratt. It's Captain not Chris Kirk. Evans. It's not Chris Hemsworth. It's not Chris Evans. Yeah, of all the no. Chris's, he's he's losing. Have you seen any Star Trek movie recently? Me? Yes. No, I just used ah, to watch Deep dude. Space Nine. Nice. You haven't seen any, any of the new ones? <laughs> that name, <laughs> no. though. My one what? question about Star Trek Deep Space Nine, was that the one with the black guy as a commander? Oh, I don't know. Mm. Jamie? I don't know what you mean by that. He wasn't the captain. But no. he was like the main guy in the show? Uh, I think I, I think I know what you're talking about, but no, no, that was um Captain Janeway, which is she's female she's female. now on um Orange is the New Black. Oh yeah, that's right. She's the cook, right? Yeah, she's like she's in the prison as a a person. She's of, the of, HBIC of of some authority. Yeah, I don't watch that show, but I just know that. Oh, you should watch that show. It's a good show. Okay, it's okay. Um, the only thing about the Wonder Woman trailer, I mean, it, it looked really amazing and look it was really cool but like who is she fighting she's only fighting like germans like world war one like soldiers. again this again <laughs> well, wait wait <laughs> why again because uh that's what fucking captain america did that was actually world war ii whatever they're a completely different completely different war <laughs> I, I don't know what war is um well <laughs> you don't know what wars are mm-hmm. it, it just seems like kind of like that's very spiteful to have like wonder woman who is like basically on the same level as superman <laughs> to just be fighting some like soldiers like it doesn't matter if like they could she could fight like every soldier in the army by herself and it would take her a while but she would eventually defeat everybody <laughs> it doesn't matter how many planes or tanks or missiles they shoot at her like it's not gonna stop her well so it just seemed it just seemed a little weird like uh, snyder though no, that's not Zack Snyder. Oh, okay, good. Well, it's, I mean, uh, isn't he supervising like everything though? I don't think so. Hmm. That's um, it's a female director. She did um, Monster with uh, Charlize Theron. Hmm. All I can remember from that trailer is that she's just blocking everything. <laughs> like she's using block. her like amulets or whatever, or a shield to just hate. blocking something. Yeah, she's a hater blocker. <laughs> hater block. She's using her hater blocker. Yep. Maybe that might be a good sign that she's doing that because maybe if she were to actually attack these people, it would kill them. But she does. There is that one. Does she scene, care though? though? And she's like shooting arrows at them. And there's that one scene where, like, you know, it's like a a huge fight scene, most likely, where she like takes out like a sword. Uh, not a sword. She takes out like oh, some the soldier lasso. dudes in like a, a building. And it kind of reminds me of like some Xena Warriors princess stuff. Well, but yeah. that's just me. I mean, she's they're both warrior princesses, so yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um, I would like to see like Cersei or like Ares or one of one of her main villains, somebody that Someone could actually that can go toe to toe with her. Cersei, yeah, she's from Game of Thrones. She's a Greek, <laughs> not not Cersei from Game <laughs> of Thrones. So, what other trailers would you want to like mention? Because I mean, those are the those are the, those are the three <laughs> those are the three main ones that came out. But there was also like a lot of news that came out too, yeah. um, about like Spider Man Homecoming, Black Panther, Black Panther got the cast finally um, confirmed, right? So there have been rumors for a while that Michael B. Jordan was in talks, and Michael B. Jordan, of course, has been in pretty much all of Ryan Coogler's uh, movies so far. So Fruitvale Station and and Creed. He's kind of like uh, that one guy. Um, he's like. The Johnny Depp of was was that director Tim Tim Burton Tim Burton, Burton. yeah and then like Martin. Sam Raimi is Sam Raimi's uh Raimi. the guy who plays Evil Dead that guy yeah sure <laughs> no I'm saying like he's Ryan I mean Ryan Coogler and I mean those Michael are like B. weird Jordan. those are weird examples but yeah no but I'm saying I get, like I get what they, you're saying. These directors always have these actors yeah. in their movies. Yeah, they they, they work well together. So yeah. they like yeah, each other. They're friends. Saying. They want to hook each other up. Yeah. Anyway, continue your story. What? So Black Panther's cast is it's going to be a Lupita. Yep. And she's playing, uh, I guess, Malice. That's what it sounds like. 
uh, who she used not to be to be mistaken from not from the, the clicks. clicks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not yeah, not Pusha T and Malice, but yeah. she used a she was a part of the Dora Milaje. Uh, and then she kind of um kind of broke apart and be and and she actually hooked up with uh Killmonger, who's Ooh. who's gonna be played by Michael B. Jordan. And he's he's a, a rival of uh T'Challa's. And that's gonna be interesting cause to see because Michael B. Jordan really is the only has he he's never played a villain before. I guess. I don't think so. I know nothing of Black Panther. A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't, but more people are now because it, the, because the new um, series that is really popular, like a lot of people, it's been selling out and it's been doing really well as far as sales go. So you're seeing like more people kind of talk about Black Panther. But I know, trust me, for a long time, like I was pretty much the only person excited about any any <laughs> type of Black Panther stuff going on. Nah, it's it's a good good series to get into. The new Sp- Spider Man is coming out first, and next then year. yeah, next year. And then that that got some news as well. I mean, the only thing, the only real news that kind of came out was they introduced the cast, which we already knew. But it was just came out that uh, Tony Revolori, I guess his name is the the kid from uh, Dope. Uh, he's gonna be playing Flash Thompson. Who's that? Wait, who who is that guy from Dope? Um, he's like the the Spanish kid from Dope. I haven't seen that. Really? Yeah. Mm Hmm. So he I he's mean, he was already like announced to be in the movie for a while. Oh, I know. Not okay. I'm thinking about the guy when you mentioned the Spanish kid. I'm just thinking about the guy from uh from Dope as well. But his best friend, the guy who was in um that um Wes Anderson movie. Yeah, oh, that's who oh. he is. That he's you sure? Yeah. Okay. The bell. The I'm, bell. The bell boy from uh yeah. from the wow. the Budapest. Oh uh, yeah, I know who that is. Yeah. Okay. That's that's crazy because when you mentioned though, I was thinking about that that Spanish rapper who is in dope. ASAP Rocky. <laughs> no, not ASAP Rocky. He's um he's the guy that the main character has a punch in the face with the with the bag scene. That guy. Uh I I was think he would be more of a Flash, a Flash Thompson. Thompson. Like a bully. Exactly. Yeah. He, you know, instead of this guy, because this guy that we're talking about, he's doesn't seem bully esque at all, unless he's gonna pump, pump, pump it up. You know, hit them weights. I don't know, whatever. It's 2017. It's future. Well, you could be like a like. There's different type of bullies now. Yeah. Like it's like online. not. Yeah, he's exactly. an online bully. Internet bully. Internet bully. It's exactly. an e bully. Like back in like the 60s when like Spider Man was the shit. Like a bully was like. The big the jock. Yeah, the jock who's stuffy in a locker, give you swirlies, which is something I don't know anything about. Oh, you sure about that? <laughs> I never got a swirly. You got, did you get a wedgie? Nope. She was, she was homeschooled. <laughs> no, just for high school, though. Oh, yeah, high school, yeah. Middle right. school's where you get the bullied the most. Uh, I think it's both. Well, yeah, but middle schoolers are, are the worse. worst people. Mm. You hear that middle schools, Larry? Yeah. You Stay guys are the worst. Fuck you. <laughs> I hate you. But you guys yeah. are gonna grow up and be president one day. What about you guys? Did you guys get swirlies? No, man. No. no? Uh, really? Mm-mm. No. What about no one's dunking my head in water? Wait, you guys got water. You guys got pants. You guys got pants though. What's what's that? Everybody got. Yeah, pants. I I've gotten that. I remember that. What's, what is that? That's like when someone just comes and pulls your pants down. No. And then you show off like whatever. Your satin, your like silk, bo- <laughs> silk boxers. Oh, I thought they take everything down. Some people. I don't try think to. so. Yeah, I think they go for whatever they can grab. But you, they just you, normally grab like the pants leg. Yeah, like because you you usually grab from lower. It's hard uh, to grab you, from like, like the by belt. the knees down. Yeah, the knees. None of that should happen to me. Damn, that's because you were edgy. Oh, you were too edgy. They knew not to mess so around people, with you. Yeah, people didn't want to mess around because they get cut because of my edge. If you cut yourself, yeah. <laughs> you'll definitely yeah, cut well, them. He's doing the work for <laughs> us. Well, maybe he has like something sharp in his pockets so they can't pants him. Mm. Yeah, that knife. You hear that, kids? <laughs> Bring open knives to school. Just open leave knives. Leave them in your pockets. <laughs> open knives. <laughs> what are the clothes knives? Yeah, maybe what, like what a Luis is talking about. Like, like a, a butterfly a just, knife. Oh, yeah, yeah like butterfly a, knife. Like a switchblade, just you know, yeah, leave it open. Blade. 
in your pockets. Always. Yeah. Or just That's, or just yeah. razor blades. Just throw a couple razor blades in there. I forgot that there's like concealed knives. Just remember which pockets they're in. Because you don't want to like reach in there and get try and get your mobile device and accidentally like slice your finger off. Uh, yeah. They asked um uh the guy from Marvel, um Kevin Feige, like whether they were gonna spend a lot of time with Spider Man in high school. And according to him, he said that uh this is gonna be in this movie, Spider Man Homecoming, it's he's gonna be a sophomore in high school. Nice. So they could potentially be like junior year, we don't know what that's like, or so- or freshman year or whatever, or summer school or whatever the fuck. So he could he could really spend young. like some some time, yeah, exactly. I mean he's I think he's nineteen. Tom Holland, and I mean most of the cast also looks very young, but he's like playing like a thirteen-year-old, right? Thirteen, fourteen. I mean, a sophomore in high school. I don't know. I don't man. know. I don't know how. You don't know how old that is. I don't know what the the order 15. is. Fifteen. Is it? It's, yeah. Like I, that's not how my high school. Freshman, called. sophomore, junior, senior. I I went to school under the British system. So <laughs> what? What does that mean? Like, like King King George? <laughs> yep. Actually, it was the Queen. <laughs> queen Elizabeth? Yep. The second. Okay. You the get second. that right? What's that order like? Yeah, what does that mean? Huh? What? It's just different. We Like, like when you guys are like grades and stuff like that, we don't have grades. We have forms. Uh, and uh, so like if you're saying like. That's like, like cell. Junior, like cell's first form, second form. Yeah, like like Frieza's like Frieza's like yeah, Frieza's final it's not form. Even my final form, bro. <laughs> anyway, but no, it's le- it's legitly like that. So I'm not too sure when it's like when you guys are like, oh, my sophomore year or my senior year. That does so, not make sense to you. You're not. You don't know what we're talking about. I'm not too sure of the age that you're talking. about. Yeah, me about. neither. I don't. No, I'm the only one because Luis, he, you don't know about that system, Shane. You were in the the pound system or whatever, <laughs> like, like, and then Jamie was homeschooled. So I'm like, out of literally out of everybody, I'm like a, the only one that went to like a fucking a a normal, real high school. <laughs> Damn, whoa, bro! Yeah, yeah. You you just mine was just, just in an American high school. That's all. Well, that's the, that's what I mean. That's not normal. It's just it's real. American. That's a real normal. So what? What if you were like from Bangladesh and that's not normal? What are you trying to say? What are you really trying to say? Anyway, let's not digress. So, so what else, what else yeah. came out of uh, Comic the con? Comic. Um, well, Captain Marvel was announced. Yeah, Brie Larson. Brie Larson, uh, who is a is a a national treasure. What do you mean? Uh, is she? Uh, I mean, you're not, you guys are not Brie Larson fans. No, I mean, the I only mean, thing I, I've seen her in was uh, Scott Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim. Oh, that was like her first movie. Really? That was uh, so long ago, bro. I haven't seen anything else. Yeah, that's really about it. That's, uh, that's well, she just she's coming off of winning the Oscar for I didn't watch it. Bro. Room boycott that shit for what? Room broom <laughs> broom uh, room. Oh, room the room. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. It's just room. Is it the? Uh, I didn't see. I didn't see room. I saw the room. The room. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the room that Tommy Wiseau's. Mm-hmm. Okay. Never mind. Not- no, not that. <laughs> not the same movie. Not the same movie. I know what you're talking about. I didn't. Okay. I had no idea that was her. Brie Larson. Yeah. Nor did I watch the movie, so I don't. It's not like I paid attention. <laughs> yeah, we we me and Sam watched it. We went to go see it. It's crazy. I mean, it's like she is being uh, kidnapped or or held against her will by a sexual predator, and they've he's been kind of whole you know held up in this room which is like a you know basically like a, a, a prison for a number of years she was uh, abducted when when she was like a teenager and in the time that she was there she had a baby a a, a, a boy and the boy only knows his whole entire universe is that you know basically the size of a, a prison cell like a eight five, eight foot by you know ten foot room with a you know it has like a small small bathroom and a small kitchen a kitchenette and uh, and that's about it and the, but the boy doesn't know that there's like a real world so he's already like he's like f- six years old already and just has like no idea that there is like a, a you know a planet <laughs> an ocean uh, you know all these things he just thinks like the the world is that small like that you know that big sad it's crazy it's a crazy ass story 
it's good though but you know if you, she, i recommend it i mean she won an oscar for for being um the mom in that it was pretty good best actress best actress yeah and then now like marvel scooped her up was like really smart like i mean i, I don't think that it is I mean, I mean nothing against gal you know being wonder woman i think she's great and i love you know nobody's a bigger uh fast and furious uh crazy person than i am but that's not true you think there's there's somebody more? Yeah. Are they I'm, in this I'm, room? <laughs> yes. I have every movie on Blu-ray. Uh-oh. <laughs> Carlos. I have a poster of Vin Diesel. Uh-oh. Bro, she has legit copies and a poster. But like, what is that a technology that that uh is that's like are you thing? holding on to those? Like how long are you going to hold on to those Blu-rays? Has something come since then? I mean, yeah, just like downloading the movie. <laughs> Like streaming the movie, but that's just like temporary. Um, not if you have it forever. You can like you it's, in the, it's on the it cloud. Forever. It's on the cloud. Yeah, but I think what Jamie's saying is like you, you never had. You know <laughs> what did Vin Diesel <laughs> say? Man, I fucked that part up. It's like when Paul Walker said, "Like, bro, I never yeah. had you." Yeah. You owe me a ten-second cut. You Yo. never had your movies anyway. Uh, um, eject those cut. <laughs> Monaje, we don't speak of that one. Monica, that's the best one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, well, I know who to call them when we have a Fast and Furious podcast. Yo, that comes out next year already. Yeah. All right, yeah. that's um. Well, we're excited about that, and we'll 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 have to talk about that. <laughs> She's also in Kong Island, Skull, Skull Island. Island. Cool. Yeah. Brie Larson, yeah, Brie she's Larson. all, she's everywhere. Skull. She's now, yeah, with uh, with um, another with, Marvel with King guy. Kong. <laughs> I think King Kong is the main character in that. Who'd they get to play King Kong? Uh, they got Tom Hiddleston. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, I think King Kong is CGI. I don't think there's yeah. a person in that suit. You sure didn't use a real ape for this song? <laughs> Damn, that probably that one ape that got shot. He was cast and called. That's probably uh, why everyone's so messed is it up Har- about it. Like Harambe. Damn, rest in peace, guy. Yeah, rest in anyway. peace. Anyway. They they are Jamie, this will I don't know how you feel about this or or Godzilla versus Yeah, exact exactly. Like they they've just announced that from this King Kong so I guess in Skull Island, like King Kong does not die at the end of this movie. <gasps> spoiler. No, no, spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler. Sorry. Well d- doesn't to... he fight like a dinosaur or some shit? Who does he fight? No, that was uh Peter Jackson's version of King Kong. He fights two T Rexes in that. Mm, oh yeah, that did happen. And this is a this is a reboot, so this is not the same. Because King Kong, like in that movie, he was still like normal sized King Kong, and this movie, he's like ultra duper, super duper. Yeah, he's King like Kong. Godzilla sized, basically. Yeah, King That's Kong. Why they're they're pre- they're prepping him so to what, fight what, what do humans have anything to do? Because I mean, it, it's Samuel Jackson, it's, and he's like it's a, literally he's like a five general. people like with guns going into fight Godzilla essentially. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. and if, I mean, and Godzilla was just like Walter White. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, but they they had no interaction. They were just running for their lives. Yeah. Well, yeah, he had his own thing. Going and on. every time that you see like, King but this Kong is a different. Go- I don't Godzilla. think that this Godzilla is the same Godzilla from these movies now. I don't think so either. Or maybe it is. Wait, what movies? These new, this new like King Kong versus Godzilla franchise that they're. They're, yeah, I think they're gonna re 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 reboot Godzilla. Yeah, which is interesting because there's a Japanese Godzilla that's coming out. It came out. Yeah, the meth head Godzilla. Co- yeah, it's coming out to America though. I mean, oh, it's being released here soon. Yeah, so, there's too many Godzillas. I, I mean, I guess like Jamie, I guess yeah. I mean, if, if you yeah, I mean, if you're a Godzilla fanatic like you are, I guess there's no there's no real limit. Who's the well, fanatic? Re- Me. I think Jamie. You're godzilla fanatic yes i love godzilla what is it that about godzilla that kind of draws you to to that specific franchise oh it's partially nostalgic because i watched it a lot when i was little but then uh when i got older and i watched it again i realized it has like um a lot of symbolic value like what what what's what symbols do you see is it like prince's symbols or (laughs) well like what people say is that like the views like the, the, the bomb the war yeah and, exactly yeah have you guys seen let's, dinosaurs let's 
the car, like the, car the, 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 the animatronics <laughs> they're not the puppets well yeah they're, i guess they're technically animatronics they're yeah that's the second yeah. time we talked about this but that's what you're saying, weird. Uh, yeah we we've no, all seen I mean, dinosaurs no, you're, you're saying God, godzilla had a lot of um symbolism or whatever or or just things that relate to current time and i just like in the last actually like two years ago i rewatched like all of uh dinosaurs i don't know i think it's on it's like you're talking about not the mama yeah, yeah. i uh yeah. i specifically remember the marijuana episode i don't remember that one. Oh, what was the the, the teenager the, i mean i watched it all i just don't remember it but but they were i were calling I, it the happy plant <laughs> i i been oh yeah, yeah he yeah, had yeah, a, he, i mean right. he had a mohawk so Where, it like, makes sense that he would the episode was crazy i rewatched like the entire thing and it's mind-blowing that that i don't think that was a kid's show i mean the well thing, it wasn't on saturday mornings it was on at like 8 p.m on a on a oh, okay. on a tuesday night or something like then, that it was it was like it was a prime time show it was like it was like that it was dinosaurs and then rock came on right afterwards mm-hmm. which is a mm-hmm. kind of just another it's not a, not necessarily a kid's show it was like a, it was around a time where you where you and your family would sit around and watch tv at night like Remember those days? Preteen. The topics they covered were fucking serious as shit, and it's just it got super philosophical. And I just do not remember that as a kid, of course. But watching it as an adult, no. you're like, oh my god, it's a brand new show. Yeah, you should watch you were it. Just waiting for like the not the mama, yeah, in the frying pan. But now it's like, Man. holy shit! All the the things they talk about is like crazy. TV back then meant a whole lot more. Especially what you mentioned, Carlos, with sitting down in front of the set with your family on a Pacific day and like watching television. We don't do that anymore. Well, now it's just like we sit down and we just binge watch eight episodes of Stranger Things in yeah. like one night. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. You have to keep the, the toothpicks in your eyes to keep them yep. open. Your eyes are all parched. Toothpicks. Yeah, it's like 4 a.m. and you're like, you you know, you have to watch like the the last I episode. I feel like there's better ways. This is what Carlos does, all right? <laughs> no, this probably, is yeah. his methods. Don't judge him, please. <laughs> yeah. You know? But uh, yeah, so Stranger Things, man. Like, we, have we all seen it in here? No. Dang no? it. You're, it's I good. really want to, but I you have should. no idea what it's about. It's well, just uh, everybody's watching it. That's the thing. Like, I didn't know what it was going to be about either. Um, I heard, I think it was like Edel on, like somebody on social yeah, media was like post. So it was like posted Wait, some Adele, mean the singer. No, Adele. Yeah, Adele. I, we're friends on Facebook. Nice. No, man. Um, no, I know our friend Adele. Yeah. So I think she was like the first person I saw kind of mentioning that this was a good show, and then I'm, I really didn't hear anything about it or the. The dudes that that are in charge of making it, the, I think it's the, what the Duffer Brothers or something like that. <laughs> yeah, Duffer yeah, Bros. something like that. Um, not too familiar with those dudes, and so I really didn't, was not on my radar. Put it that way. And like most shows, you know, I'll give it like a good one one watch at least, like one one episode, just to see if this is something that I might be into. And I was like, hey, you know, I'll take a I'll take a flyer on this. You know, let's see. You never know. You might you might find something that might be worth your time. Uh, and I just watched one episode and right away I knew immediately. I was like, oh, okay, this is this is not just, you know, some kind of show that I can pass the time watching. This is something that I can actually get really excited about. Oh, yeah, yeah it, it definitely good. is. It's a really good show. Um, the theme of it is fantastic. The setting of it, also good. The theme of it or the you mean the like the 80s? That, well, that's what I meant by the setting. Mm-hmm. But the theme is what the show is actually about, and uh, the setting, of course, being that it's the the eighties that that period time period, and especially also where it's it's set, just like anywhere in the USA. Yeah, where is it? Like, oh, Indi- is it Indiana? Indiana. Yeah, Stranger Things happen in Indiana. Yeah. What is it about? Well, the the way the best description that I've can come up with is. Imagine if uh, Steven Spielberg reimagined Twin Peaks, the show. If you've seen it, yeah, I've never seen Twin Peaks. Well, then you're not gonna get it. It is no, no it, it's very, it's very um, Stephen King, and it's very John Carpenter. So, um, I think there's there's actually like uh, a John there's John Carpenter posters in in the kids uh, in the kids room. 
mm-hmm. like he has a poster to the thing and like a couple other John Carpenter movies. Like the title sequence from the beginning is oh, very John Carpenter. So nice. So it's nice. so good. Oh, yeah, it's it's just, very well done. The opening titles are just amazing. Um, and the, the score is fantastic. It's very John Carpenter type of, uh, of soundtrack as well. It takes you back to that time. And then also, I think Stephen King, like especially Stand By Me. I mean, there's a scene that's kind of almost one for one, like yeah. uh, when they're walking down the train tracks. I, 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 actually, I saw an article that kind of broke down all of the uh, references. Iconic scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that. it's not just that one like there's apparently a bunch a, of it's all over yeah, yeah. exactly yeah, Which yeah. Is nice. that's just kind of the one that kind of popped out like immediately but it's very uh steven spielberg as well mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just with the kids and all that stuff yeah exactly like et like for, at one point i thought that they were literally gonna like be riding bikes and then the bikes would just start you know flying <laughs> flying away well, i was like i, mean, I was waiting almost, I was waiting could almost. yeah almost i really happened. thought i was like oh no well, that one part, <laughs> that one part, I thought that was going to happen, but then obviously it changed. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. and that's the reason that I say that it's, to me, it's like if Steven Spielberg reimagined in Twin Peaks, because there's those elements of Steven Spielberg in there with the kids and, you know, their, their little adventure, whatever. But the story itself is, it's practically one-to-one with, um. Twin Peaks. With Twin Peaks. Well, there's somebody missing, right? There's, both there's somebody so missing. Like, well, there's, well, who, like, I, I don't, Laura, I don't want to say anymore because yeah. it's so good. You should just watch it. I'll watch it. No spoiler alerts. No spoilers. Damn. This is the first time. Think of like the uh, like the kind of like the nicest town in like the, you know, in America. Like, you know, we're not, I think like the, 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 the sheriff was like, when's the last time that anything exciting happened over here? And I was like, oh, like six years ago, like somebody hit a deer with their car or something like that yeah um so it's like one of those really quiet towns that nothing happens and then like the worst possible thing that you can think of can happen would happen yeah that's what it's about really the government you know there's a there's a cover-up there's it, it's it's it, it's everywhere government conspiracy cover-ups uh the russians russians what? there's no russians in this. Bit, yeah dude um, come on uh, they're the main that's like that it's, it's, it's it happened in like the cold war era so like the at at the time like being somebody that remembers 1983 and like being in just like the fear that everybody had i must say though the tropes within the uh the show it's very fantastic the characters portrayed just because of the time was good it's it's highly highly recommended it's yeah, it's a beautiful show it. it's it's short too I mean, it's eight like episodes, eight yeah. episodes, like, like forty minutes each. So yeah, it's, I ended up watching four episodes the first day. Like I was, I told myself I was gonna try it out, test it out, just watch one, yeah, and see if I liked it. And I just like watched four immediately, uh, and then it was like three o'clock in the morning. So I was like, here. Okay, maybe, maybe I should like chill. <laughs> yeah, I watched it over two days, and yeah, I just I could I, I couldn't I had to I paced myself anyway. So Jamie, watch it. And let yep. us know. I will. All right. The main event, guys. Uh-oh. What everyone's been craving for the last couple of weeks. Believe it or not, only been like, is it even a month no. since this thing has been out yet? No. no. It, it feels like it's been a month. But it's only been like two or three weeks. It, it's probably it's like three weeks. Beginning of July is when it released. Yeah. So three weeks. What are we talking about? So we're talking about <laughs> Pokemon motherfucking Go. All right. Pokemons. Go catch them all. Get your caps. Put them on backwards. Is this your first interaction with Pokemon? Uh, like, yeah. uh, have so there's no. a, there's a there's a, it comes from a TV show, right? Or it comes from a video game. A video game. So it's a, a Game Boy game, right? Oh yeah. Oh, it's, I think it didn't it start off as a card game first. No, no. I think I, it was games first, and then the card game. The video okay. game first, and then they right. they made a cartoon out of it. I think it was game cards. Cartoon. cartoon got it and so you, were you are you guys familiar with those iterations of the franchise yeah i got my holographic yep. charizard car right here only with the me. first the first one i didn't i didn't keep up with it once they started making bullshit, Pokemon bullshit. That look... <laughs> <laughs> no, most of them no. are well it's just because at first they they all look like pokemon like like actual mm-hmm. animals and then they just started making weird shapes I and mean... then splicing them into two colors it's like Hey, check out this weird I'm not shape. Gonna lie, oh, and then let's 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 split the there's colors. There's like a there's a Pokemon that's, that's just a set of keys. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not wrong. N- Knifey and here's Stry and Shuey. 
There is a sword. There's a shoe. There is a sword. Oh my god. Um, it turns into two swords, and then it's a sword with shields. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I love him, too. I can't. Awesome. I can't do this anymore. Pokemon has turned into, like... It has evolved. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, there it was did. just one fifty-two in the beginning. Now it's how much? How much is there? How many Pokemon can you catch? A hundred. I think I there's mean, like five hundred or six hundred <laughs> or something like that. God there's damn. There's so many. Well, it's a big world out there. When we first saw our first journey of the young Ash Ketchum, is he in the? Is he? So the game, the Game Boy game was first, Pokemon. and that's yeah. And then that's Ash so Ketchum. So Ash Ket, he's the main character of the game. Well, the game is you. You're the main character. Yeah. yeah. But then, so Ash Ketchum didn't come until the, the show, the, yeah. TV, the TV show. Yeah, you're, you're called, yeah. A, what are you called, red or blue, depending on the so version you just you pick get. your name. Well, you're yeah, but like, like the one that they try to give you. No, 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 I think they, I think they prompt you. Yeah. No, no, but like, believe it, one of the options, like the, the, uh, the standard name, the one that if you don't want to choose your own custom name, yeah, but I think that's just because of the cartridge at the yeah, time. Yeah, But you, you assume it's you. So anyway. No, no, no I'm just saying like that's, no, that's no, the name no, of no. the character supposedly. No, no. At least the it's you. You're it's the, you. You're the trainer. It's you. No, I, it's I understand. You. But the, the character no, that no, you, you play it's has you. a name. It's you. Has, it's Luis. What, what are, you, are you guys talking about the original one or are you talking about Pokemon yeah, Go? Yeah, so on Game Boy, we're talking about the Game Boy experience. It's okay, you. Do you... Pokemon the only reason red. why it would default well, to Pokemon either blue. red or blue is because that's the cartridge that you had. But as Jamie is explaining to you, the experience is you. So well, that's, that's why every you're supposed game. to put. You're, are you Master Chief? No, yes. but Master exactly. Chief. Wait, no, actually, <laughs> no, you has are a Master name. Chief because, because his name is Master Chief. And you're playing John, Master Chief's story. I don't really remember, John, but I think I that you have to. Pick Why are we arguing about this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't know I'm enough right. about Pokemon yeah. to uh, to in, to interject here. So I don't know. I'll, I'll matter. leave this. You can continue. I'll leave this up. I am. I am a person of some of some some Poke knowledge. I'm limited in my Poke knowledge, and that's only because when Pokemon came out, I was already a grown up. <laughs> <laughs> you were trying to catch something else. <laughs> I was. Yeah. I was <laughs> <laughs> trying to catch that. That's strange. Anyway, so wait, are you like the that old person who like when it started booming on Facebook, were you like hating like all the Pokemon Go? No, I don't like. Why, why would I care? What? <laughs> why would I hate on like, Pokemon? Were you posting up signs outside your your work saying like, "Oh, you Pokemon Goers, like get away"? No, from my I don't. I have no. I don't. So you're not that old. Well, no, I don't think that has anything to do with being old. I think that's just like. Oh you're no, just, there's like twenty you're year just olds a, doing it too. Yeah, you're just like a person that's anti something. Yeah. You have to be like you have to be against things. Yeah. Because I don't know why, but yeah, that that's a certain I think that's a certain type. I don't think that I don't think it's anything to do with age. I, I just like at the time I was just too old to really get into that. You know, I was I was already kind of getting into trouble and and and, and filling my time with other 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 things. Um now my now saying he is always been into pokemon uh, and um so he didn't watch the show because he was not born yet but he's definitely like a big time pokemon video game player so i any knowledge that i get, that i know from pokemon is just from just listening to him he won't sometimes he can be very vocal about <laughs> his uh you know his his theories or his gameplay or whatever and then now with pokemon go you know at this point i'm i'm you know i'm at an age where i can just kind of check out the game, download it and 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 have some fun because uh well number one, I, you know, it's fun to c- talk to Saiyan about some of the stuff, you know, to kind of just to spend time with him. You have that connection. That yeah. and all right, uh, all right. the place right next to you is a, f- a Pokestop, so you don't even have to move. I live at a Pokestop. Oh, that's I do. The dream. I can uh I can collect uh magic balls just by spinning the magic you know, balls. exactly the, the wheel. That's, that's spin the wheel and <laughs> that that just tells you everything right there. So, I have no clue anything really about um pokemon go i've I'll, my experience with it is i i made no i'm not a hater i support it i just uh my experience is i four o'clock when the game released in america i created a character just so i can have my my avatar's handle 
saved. And then I realized, I was like, oh, yeah, I actually have to get up and go walking. Yeah, and, and that's when you said, that's oh, when, fuck it. That's when I said, let me stop. But well, you're also, you also happen to be of a certain race that nah. is not necessarily the safest race to be when it comes to yeah, you, walking you got, around. You, you got to travel with white people. Yeah. Just so you're safe always. Anyway, so um, I mean that's a, that that's definitely an issue. I I, I think it was uh, was it James um uh, that po- posted um a video. I think uh, yeah, James saying Stanaway. that he was uh uh-huh, So our buddy of ours, uh, James, was uh, walking uh, playing Pokemon Go in a neighborhood, and he got you know harassed or he got you For know real? some yeah, he's just a black guy walking around and you know uh, maybe a, a white neighborhood or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Horrible. these people look out the window and they see somebody like with their phone pointed kind of up, looking like they're taking pictures. So see that, I and mean, that's that's why I take the AR off. I, I don't want to be like pointing yeah. my phone. At Luis, people. you showed me, you showed me that because I I was like trying to catch Pokemon in in the in in mid air, like trying to. I was walking around like, what you are know. you like doing, like three sixties? <laughs> well, I'm like, well, you know, the the things flying around, so I'm like, the phone is, I'm like hovering, you know, I'm like trying to line this guy up, like in the, you know, and he's like, you know, he's flying across like a like a you know a construction worker or something like that <laughs> it's just like walking is in the street like trying to work on on the, you know you know doing like a, a a job and i'm i'm over here like what can you oh, hold on a second i got there's a pokemon right on you and then you showed me that like you can turn that off and and then it just becomes like a you know you could just look down at your phone and yeah it's a lot easier too it's a lot easier yeah because it just yeah. it, it just centers the pokemon it does he doesn't shake around you have to hold the phone in any particular way yeah, which I think is cheating. No. Why? Because <laughs> I, I think Carlos is saying it's not that you're you're cheating in the game. You're cheating yourself from the experience because yeah, that's kind of what it is. Yeah. I mean, the game is the reason why it blew up. I mean, granted, as we know, it's um, it's a game that the company who created it, Niantic, mm-hmm. they just reskinned it Ingress. with the. Sorry, it was yeah, it's called uh, Ingress, and they just skinned that with the Pokemon uh, Nintendo's licensed characters, and we have this massive explosion of like people who are like you know really who love Pokemon who are now playing this game of all ages, and also is on the platform that everyone has their mobile device. So it really is something new and cool because it's the first game of I would say augmented reality kind of deal <laughs> that's what it's called I mean, shane <laughs> you, you, <laughs> i mean I'm not, you would say, I, would, I would call it augmented reality <laughs> yeah i'm just i always said it the way i say because i'm not 100 percent sure if that was what it was but yeah thanks. that's what it's called they are yeah so to take yourself away from having that true experience you know it's i can see how you're kind of cheating yourself yeah i mean that's that's part of what drew me to the game was the fact that the the, the idea that these are these creatures are among us they are yeah. they're we're sharing and and it, <laughs> and it, 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 it also kind of they're has, in your house it, right now <laughs> they're in my house right now but I, I can't see them because actually a long time ago there was a you know somebody was really like being you know very deep and 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 thoughtful and um and i was kind of just open at the time to listen to this person and they were really explaining and breaking down how like fairies and uh and like leprechauns it's like all, all these kind of fantasy creatures they are actually they do exist mm, he was he was uh, trying to convince just, you of that uh-huh no they but they the thing is is that they're not on the same dimension <gasps> as us no 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 hear me out so are we live in the upside we, down <laughs> they're in the upside down exactly. hear me out, it makes sense we're all three-dimensional creatures right we, you can see you can walk all the way around us but these are not three dimensional creatures they're you know potentially fourth or fifth dimensional creatures so you know he was showing me this like 10 dimensional cube or whatever and it's it stuck with me i was like okay well maybe there's you know there's more out there than what i can possibly see were you high yeah. bro he just mentioned that this guy had a 10 dimensional cube <laughs> yeah that already, yeah that's not a thing it is a already, thing already that just tells you this guy's level. All right. Do you have a ten dimensional cube? I don't even. I don't know think what that so. Is. It doesn't exist. Exactly. It, 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 it does In exist. our reality, it exists. That dude has it. <laughs> Let's find that guy. It's like a twenty sided die. 
but different. Uh, he was, yeah, he was, he was trying to create a, a party to fight the Demogorgon, and uh, nice. he was trying to recruit me. But no, really, what I was like, okay, well, maybe you know, we not everything is visible, right? So the idea that this game comes along and it's like, well, here are these these creatures that live in a parallel dimension, but we can only access them through this machine, you know, this like this window. Yeah. And and if you open up the window and look through it, then you can actually see, you know, the, the fourth dimension, the fifth dimension. What? Okay. No, but no, I see your point. It makes a lot of sense that way. But uh, if you turn off the AR when you're catching them, so you don't mm-hmm. see it, it's not as glitchy and it's easier to catch them. It doesn't change the the feeling because one time um I wanted to check if my Pokemon was still in a gym and instead of looking at my phone I looked over to where the gym was supposed to be and then I was like okay I'm stupid <laughs> oh boy <laughs> you were trying to look up to see if it was like floating above it <laughs> yeah I wanted to see it's just really quick in my head I was just like yeah I'm gonna look up at it and then I, I realized that you yeah. can't yeah it's yeah no Real question though, at the gym, was your Pokemon doing leg day or was it doing all chest, no legs? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. What what what's your what's your strongest Pokemon's? Right now it's Jolteon. Why? Why why are the whoa, those evolutions whoa, like judging. the more popular ones? Because they're the first um that you can get that'll be like because you see Eevees everywhere. Yeah. So you're going to get your evolution before you get a stronger mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. I see what you did there. What? Yeah. yeah that, was, that was nice. Yeah. Very nice. I don't get it. Tip off the cap. <laughs> you missed it. An evolution. Yep. Louis still didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. <that's- laughs> Second time. <laughs> yeah, still- Hold on. One okay. more time. No, no. It's all right. It's no, over. No, no. It's, <laughs> over. it's over now. If I say it one more time, then it's going to appear in my room or something. Yeah. Whoa. I think you'll get sucked into like that world, which yeah. I, you which you probably would not be completely mad about. Yeah, actually, <laughs> you'll look in the mirror and you're just your your you are your avatar, your your Pokemon Go avatar. I mean, you can dress like you which you which everybody looks the same. Like, there's not a lot of customization. No. Really? Yeah, At there's just point. like three different ways that you can look. Three different shades of color. Uh, there's like five hair colors. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> and like you wear everybody wears the same thing. It's just like. Yeah. A stripe Everyone's on the side like of it. That's only different. Parkour wear. It was that what you would call it? It's like active wear. Yeah, because it's not like street wear. It's no, like, that's what I'm saying. It's like parkour, like active wear. Yeah, you got a hoodie and you got, you got like, hoodie. Tight, like tights or like tall socks, like, nah, like, like soccer, tights, like soccer socks. Like, you have like the the what's it called? Not the loose fitting crotch. <laughs> what? What's those crotch? pants called? Drop crotch pants. Going on. Is that? Is that? <laughs> I thought he was just wearing like sweats. Well, they are sweats, but whatever. I want. I want a pair of those pants. You, should, you could you get can them. Buy some. You could probably get because them because I. I mean, oh well. I, I guess. I guess you guys sort of know. Um, next month I'm moving to LA. Uh, Whoa! And it's congratulations. Hot. It's hot. It's really hot. So you gotta get this, that drop. This crotch. is news now, to so me. I'm, I, I need to. I need to find some pants that are long. So not not necessarily jeans, but they're breathable. So I can you know. Jeans in the heat is, I think sweatpants in the heat are worse. I'm not gonna yeah. wear sweatpants in the heat. Well, that's what those are. Are sweats. they? Yeah, they're kind of like. Well, that's yeah, well. Sweats. This is a new conversation. This is what what <laughs> kind of pants get, can I uh, find? Drop crotch shorts. I think just shorts, bro. Yeah, <laughs> just five pair of shorts. Like a normal person. Drop crotch shorts. Kind of want to talk to you about your moving to LA, but probably after the pod. Okay. Um. Well. But yeah. So Pokemon's go, man. I mean, I, I, um, in the first like three or four days, I walked like fucking 15 miles. Yeah. For the first time in your life, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, in, in, in such a short period, yeah. I got yeah. a tan. Yeah. What? Yeah. All of the, like, I got these birds. are all like really good milestones. Yeah. Like, things are happening here. You people's. guys are living healthy. Have you guys met new people? Like, yeah. I so mean, how, I don't get how that works. I've well, had human like, interaction, but not like met people. Oh, I've had some bad human interaction. Oh yeah, what uh, what happened? Um, I was beating. No one wants to hear about gym. the good. And since the gym's in a certain location, you know if somebody is at your gym, and you can see that they're fighting it because there's like lightning bolts and stuff. Oh, so that's what that means. I'm sitting there, and I'm just demolishing this gym, 
and this guy comes and sits next to me and he's like uh you're not gonna beat in it re- in real life or in the yeah, game so in real life sits Whoa. next to me and he's like you're not gonna beat it and um i was oh, like wait. well i already beat well how did it are you just like are, do you have like your do you have like a sign that says like <laughs> this is right now this is me doing this thing right now no but i think it's it's like somewhat obvious because you're on your phone and you're like clicking but people it people finger. are on their phones like that's what that's the thing that people do is look at their phones yeah but you're in the spot where the gym is you're the only person mm. in the area and yeah. it has the lightning bolts on it okay so i'm like yeah well i already beat two of the people out of the gym so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get it and he's like well i'm gonna sit here and i'm gonna fight it so that you can't win it and i was like okay <laughs> and then his friends talked him into like going because I'm at a park. They talk him into going to one of the poke stops in the park. And he's like, okay. Is and this an like, adult or is this like a... This is an adult. Okay. He's like adult in his male. 30s. <laughs> so um, they go away and then I beat the gym. And then he comes back and he's like, that girl wrecked my gym. And then he's like, uh, girl ends up on the news, uh, gets her... Her throat sliced. All oh the, she God. wanted to be a Pokemon master, and I was like, "Okay, I need to get out of here." Wow, yeah. what a fucking goon! Yeah, yeah. You real life threatened you. Real life threatened me, but like as a joke and not. That's right next not to me. funny. That's not. Yeah, no, no, that's no not of course. No, 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 that that no, no. dude. Yeah, that dude no. obviously yeah. has no life. He's, He's like the psychopath. worst scum on the fucking planet. He's like, like, yeah, he. That's the only type of shit that he would say. Because I'm assuming you were by yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I was in a park that you pay money to get into, and there's just like nerds everywhere playing Pokemon, so I figured it was safe. But yeah. I was wrong. Fucking assholes are everywhere. Yeah. Because uh, because yeah. I want to know what was his, what what was what was this person? Was he black? Was he white? Was he Asian? He was white. Obviously, okay. he's white, dude. Obviously. Yeah, that's a white dude thing. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just checking through. Here's the thing, though. Like, um, the gyms, they're not that hard to beat. Like, no. Unless it's like a level 10 gym and you suck. But, well, uh, as soon as I walked away, like five minutes later, the gym was somebody else's already. So it really doesn't matter. Like, people shouldn't take it so seriously. No. I, I, I beat a gym in like two minutes and I had nice. just one Pokemon you, that Luis. was like half the CP of. All of their Pokemon that was on that gym, there was like three Pokemon, and that's, I, that's for cool points, right? I I beat it in like cool points, yeah. <laughs> in, I beat it in like two minutes, but I didn't take it. As oh, in, no. like it, it w- exactly when I beat it, like I, I looked at it and it was their Pokemon was still in there, so I was yeah. like, "What the fuck? Cause this is shit is broken as shit." Well, you have to beat them a few times because you have to bring their. Um, prestige down in the gym but i have had a time where i got the prestige all the way down but somebody was lingering around the corner and they put it in before i could put mine in so i was like fighting blue i beat it and then it was red Mm. it's it's, it's just like so stupid they need to put like a freeze on it or something so what which uh so people do take this i mean i I don't know how how serious they are but just from what i see on social media but the, the teams is what is what kind of drives Kind of some of the the pyros, okay. the crits, I mean, I don't, I don't and the vice be lords. Like biased, but um, from what I've seen, like the red team, Valor, was just the worst people. <laughs> just like <laughs> just Trump putting supporters. that out there. Yeah, they are Trump. <laughs> Trump supporters. All <laughs> yeah. The guy who threatened me was Valor. Obviously. Oh, obviously. Damn. Yeah. Obviously. Look at that dickhead. <laughs> yeah, they're very I'm, they I'm, come on strong. What's up, Team Valor? Like what's going on with you people? Yeah, why are you Yo, guys I'm, I'm, why are you coming on so strong? What is going on with that team? Like if you're Team I'm Valor. Team Valor. Are Valor you is Shane? Oh, there's one among us right now. I'm a good guy though, I guess. Yeah, but you hardly play it. Yeah, I know. It's the people that play it a lot. Mm. What team are you, uh, Jamie? I'm uh, instinct, which is basic instinct. It's said to be the <laughs> the least popular one. Um, I think that's my team. Is that yellow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I am. That's too. me too. Oh, good. Good. Damn, three to one. Dang. Good. Look at you know up. why? Because we're chill, 
people. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't want to deal with that fucking stupid bullshit of people being like oh, blue better, red better. Well, yeah. And if you're oh, on is that, Mystic, is that, wait. <laughs> all the gyms are blue, pretty much. So it's like you always have a chance to take a gym. Yeah, that's true. Like if uh, if there's no yellow gyms around you, then you yeah you stand a better chance of just beating them instead of just mm-hmm. not being able to beat a gym because they're all yours anyways I don't, or your yeah, I don't your know. teams or whatever. I was you know saying has been he was playing for a while before I started playing and then I just asked him what what team he was gonna join. Or I just asked him what team he was, and then I just decided to just join whatever team he was doing, just because I thought it'd be funner if we were on the same, you know, me and Saiyan. It yeah. definitely is, because then mm. you can both be in the same gym and stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's so Saiyan is also so it's now Saiyan, Luis, Jamie, all of us. Yeah. Except me. Hey. Except you. Well, who's out? Who's Team Mystic? Anybody? I mean, there's that's a popular one. There's got to be some. Some uh, they're out there. If you're Team Mystic, let us know. I mean, Shout I picked out. Instinct because, um, like, I don't like the color yellow. Really, I just like Electric Pokemon a lot. I mean, that doesn't really that's Pikachu, right? Do anything? Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. See, that's why I picked Team Valor because I like Fire and mm-hmm. Red. I didn't know I was joining the asshole club. <laughs> <laughs> well, or maybe, maybe I am have. an asshole. Yeah, I mean, why would you? Why else would you choose unconsciously? It? <laughs> yeah. Unconsciously. Yeah. It's you like, can change which? them. Get in um, there and change your people. What is your Luis? What, what is, is your high? What is your highest cool points? I, I I haven't evolved any. Well, I I only evolved for the points, but well, I you haven't. You said you're like you're like a super high level though. I'm 18, but I I don't think I have. Are you? Uh, any Pokemon that's you over uh, a thousand? I thought you were twenty nine. No, uh, what? You just turned right. Uh, I just <laughs> turned twenty nine. That's so dope that we have both of you guys on the pod because it was your birthdays. Well, yeah. this this week, yeah. yeah. Happy birthday Thank to you. Uh, to you, Jamie, and happy birthday to you, Luis. Thanks. We had Saiyan on a podcast, and it was his birthday. Well, I guess it's a tradition. It's your birthday. Gotta come we, on uh, our school. Re- if it's your birthday, come on our school rejects. Yep. If you're our friend, we'll host you. <laughs> or, or not, you know. Not hey, if you're then valid. you can be our friend. Yeah. So are we? So all right. So um, how, are we gonna keep playing Pokemon Go? Because from what I hear, like it got really hot for a while. Like everybody downloaded the first day. Well, I, yeah, I just and I then, just like, saw like a, a people, report on that. And then now, like nobody's really downloaded it in like three weeks. Well, it's I probably I, uh, the people. Who are playing it just to see what it was about yeah. are probably like retreating now. And now it's just going to be the people who, you know, they like Pokemon and they want to play it. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I saw, I mean, I saw the statistics and like a report on it. And supposedly most apps, when they release, you know, they have their, it's usually a very slow release and then it spikes and then, you know, it slowly kind of goes down. Plateaus. This one, it spiked immediately. Like it plateaued within the first week. It plateaued and it's been steadily going down. But that's, mm-hmm. I mean, that's when they plateaued, they had like 20 million users, at daily active users, which is ridiculous for anything. And now I think it's, it's at like 12, which is still ridiculous. Mm-hmm. But, uh, more than Pied Piper. But that's it's more, ridiculous. it's more, yeah. Well, it's better than everything else. Facebook, Twitter, all that, all the, all those apps. It's better than everybody. It's, I mean, it's safe to call this a phenomenon. Yeah, like a a a national phenomenon. And now it's now that it's released in Japan, uh, an inter- international phenomenon. Yeah, and it's yeah, weird it's that actually... Nintendo's not gonna make shit money. Yeah. Well, they're getting some, right? Some. Yeah. Apple's making yeah. more. I had a weird thought. I hope that um, Pokemon is in history books now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I hope mean, this makes like I mean, a it's big probably in the, it's probably in Guinness at least because as yeah. being like the the fastest downloaded app or something. I mean, so, so many people are going to remember it. I mean, I don't know about history. <laughs> like, well, political, I mean, like political history. It happened. When they talk about 2016, they're going to be like it was the uh, worst election <laughs> ever yeah. and there was people <laughs> being shot and people were collecting Pokémon. <laughs> hey. It is true because this year has been a motherfucker like i was i was t- uh, having a conversation with an older person and i mean a republican <laughs> just to, just to <laughs> stop you carlos i love how you like everything with you is like age you're like letting people know like listen 
I'm an older guy. I talk to older people. I talk to young people. And I'm like, it, it, it's fun. You know, that's what you have to do that. But I yeah. get it. Uh-huh. Continue. I love it. Well, I was having a conversation with, a, with, let's say, a, a much older person. I was talking to them about the year 1958 and how I was watching a documentary about 19... No, I'm sorry, not 58, 68. So 68, M- uh, Martin Luther King, Robert Kennedy, both assassinated. Um, there was also... Uh, the Vietnam War was going on. There was also the Olympics were happening in Mexico City that year. Um, it was just like it was like a climate that was ripe. Um, all kinds of stuff was happening. And, and it was just kind of this combination of things. And, and really, it was just a, a fascinating time to to look into. And really, when I was growing up, I thought like 1968, that was such a long time ago. But then thinking about it, I was like, well, really, that was only like I was born in 79. That's like not that much. So we're, ta- like, we're talking like ten years, yeah. I remember like ten years ago. Like it's not that. Long. It wasn't that far ago. I think that this year, like people in the future are going to be watching documentaries about 2016. Yeah, it's been a messed up year. It's been a yeah. fucked up year. A lot of people, people that we uh, hold, well, let's just say famous people passed away. All this police riot stuff. The country, well, America, then. It's, all the wars in the Middle East. And we have the Olympics coming. The Olympics, yeah, true, which yeah. is which is going to be another shit show already. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? If if we can survive this year, and let's say this year is the worst ever, I'm okay with that. Well, I don't know if it's the worst ever. No, I'm just saying. But, like, I'm saying hypothetically, like, if it yeah. could, if we can say in the history books, like, you know. Our grandbabies, grandbabies who are not living on Mars, look back and be like, yo, human history, 2016 was the pinnacle of everything bad. And it just got better from then on. I would be happy with that. Yeah, but it wasn't the pinnacle. Well, we don't know that yet. Unless like, yeah, unless like World War Three breaks out. It well, could. that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying hypothetically. Yeah. Let's say it doesn't. Like, well, then you know, that, that would be really worse. bad. Then, like, because all like n- probably you know none of us would be safe. I mean, I just I just want to be the very best. Well, like it was. Yeah. So Pokemon, I think it's safe to say that it it is in the history books now. Yeah. It's cemented. Yeah. If it wasn't before, then for sure now. I think that it it went from being kind of like a niche thing. Like I I, I put it like on I would put it like before this came out. Like I would. Just being like somebody that wasn't too familiar with the with the franchise, I kind of saw it as like a kind of Yu Gi Oh and like Pokemon being like on the same level, and it's pretty clear now that Pokemon has surpassed Yu Gi Oh. Well, I, to to mention Dude, that you Yu-Gi-Oh said that, I want to say that Pokemon always really has been a re- like a rebel thing because I remember hearing kids in in high schools or in middle schools like getting like like Pokemon cards being banned because yeah. people would play it like so actively. What and, about like, Pogs? I guess, well, they would fight each other hmm. for the cards. They would fight. And I guess this is what we're seeing today, like with year one, if your incident that happened. That's that's something entirely different, Shane. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. I, I, try to, I try to do something there. But no, obviously that guy who did that to you is a that's total just, That's something that women have to just deal with. Yeah. Just on a I regular mean, yeah. basis. If it wasn't Pokemon, yeah. it would have been would, something yeah, else. Ex- exactly, and it's like it's that is happening, and also the fact that it, you know you being African American oh, and yeah. not being able to play like these are all things that we still have to deal with, and that Pokemon is just making it even more visible. Apparent. Yeah, apparent for people to see. Maybe Pokemon can fix us. Hopefully, As you a know society. what. Bring yeah. us together. That's one good thing that came out about Pokemon Go is that in light of all the recent like nonsense that was happening with the police and those unarmed like black men and stuff like that, when Pokemon Go came out, it came out at that time, especially for America, when from what I've seen, we needed like some type of like, hey, let's chill out. Let's do something else other than talk about like racism and like police violence and you know, give us somewhat of hope and joy. And Pokemon Go did that. And believe it or not, that was only like three weeks ago, which it kind of feels a little bit longer. I think I would argue that that's like kind of a not what we need to be distracted from. 
we're not saying getting distracted from it because it's still happening, but it's a sense of relief. Well, yeah, we're not going to forget that everything is falling apart yeah. just because we're playing a game, like, but it would help to have something. Yeah, something other to just keep continuously focus on it because as we are creatures of that way, you can see like if we're just constantly pushed with one agenda of anything, we become very molded around that. And we're very easy to forget the beautiful goodness, which is something that Pokemon Go has really showed us. It's not, it, so, it, 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 so it's not all negative experiences. It's not negative experiences. It's like what you guys said. It's like you guys are going outside and playing. You're seeing your surrounding areas in different ways that you never really would have ever picked up on your own to go outside and mm-hmm. do these things just be you know? care just be careful that's like yeah. you know just be you know be mindful you know shane don't go in like a you know some crazy white neighborhood well fuck it if you see like confederate flags then don't, you don't go want there. those pokemon you don't want those pokemon the racist pokemon jamie make sure you go out play with your you know don't be alone play with in, some a, friends. in a park yeah i learned my lesson unless you have you know but like a brass knuckles and like a pepper spray a, an open knife what was it an open, <laughs> an open knife, knife always open an open knife, knife always in your pocket yeah learn that from Luis. thank you yeah Luis. and Luis, just keep you know just keep doing what you're doing <laughs> <laughs> keep training those low level pokemon yeah i, I don't trade motherfuckers. i just trade every all the pokemon away i'm just hoarding stardust you're just sending and, them all yes i'm hoarding stardust and candy for when, one, when, for one day, for one day, when, once the Pokemon really start to get serious, when Pokemon Jesus comes, you can offer him all these. <laughs> I don't know if you know this yet, but don't don't give away your Pidgeys. Oh, I mm. give them all away. No, don't give away your Pidgeys. Yeah, I I give them away. I get their candy. Why? And then I I save. I I don't give them all away. I save enough so that I can evolve like a whole bunch of them at once. There you go. Okay. That's the Pidgey Ooh. trick. The Pidgey trick. Yeah. Pidgey trick. Well, maybe we'll revisit Pokemon when, when after. It's still kind of all, even though it feels like it's been on forever, it's still pretty fresh. Um, so it might be something fertile to uh, follow up on. Yeah, let's see where it is uh, months from now. Yeah, it'd be interesting. It'd be interesting because, you know, so many it made such a big splash. I was surprised, really, to be honest. Of how, I mean, I know me and my friends, just because I know you guys and I know, you know, Saiyan and like people that are close to, closest to me, I know would be into it, but it wasn't just, I mean, my girlfriend downloaded it, which is kind of surprising, you know, it's like it's, it's, you know, it's reached this like kind of level that it's just everybody. Did she actually play it? Uh, I think she was like Shane, like she downloaded it and realized that she had to like actually go around. Oh, and, <laughs> and she's and, like, and, uh, no, yeah, no. she's like, oh yeah, I can't just like do this from laying down in bed. <laughs> But yeah, the you know every, it's just everybody's doing this thing, so we should we should come back to it. All right. Keep your magic carbs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, cool. Keep your pidgeys and magic carbs. All right, guys. Before we go, I want to say thank you, Jamie, for being on the show. No problem. Always oh, a pleasure. Second to have second you. time. <laughs> There's JoJo. There's JoJo his, back on the show making again, making his appearance. Time. And Lu- Luis, hey, thank you also for being on the show. Hey, no problem, Carlos. Thank you also for being on the show. Thank so, you. Thank you, Shane, for being oh. also on the show. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so since we're on thank yous, I wanted to say uh, thank you to Some Jerk and Signal Flow. What did they do for us, Carlos? They let us use our intro and outro music, uh, which is the Broccoli Man song produced by Skinny Hendrix uh, featuring DJ Immortal and the juice box nice so and also um check us out on our facebook page it's a uh, facebook forward slash art school rejects we also of course are on soundcloud at soundcloud and iTunes. Art school rejects and itunes as well so check us out there and listen in to uh recent episodes that we've made so yeah hope you guys enjoy the show Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye, everybody. Get home safe.